to the Global State University Athletic Department. We're back here down here on court level in the Waco Center for the Coaches Show. And our guest for this segment is head soccer coach J.R. Dotson. Thank you, Coach. Coach, thank you for joining us here today. Um, played, had to play a couple undefeated teams last week. You're talking about the gauntlet coming down there. But your yeah. kids competed in a couple matches. Want to look back at some takeaways from the matches against West Virginia State and Frostburg. I think even with the losses, I think our kids' confidence is growing. Uh, I think uh, I think they know that the, probably the roughest part of our season is behind us as far as schedule goes. Uh, so I had to, good, we, we had a lot of good things to take away. Uh, but I think confidence, our confidence, even though the, we're still not getting the results we want, our confidence is still growing. And was able, coming off uh, for last week where you had the, the goals against Charleston, now we're looking ahead facing uh, Fairmont and d and &E this week. Of course, you've already faced d and &E in the regular season, faced Fairmont in the scrimmage back in the preseason. Fairmont's coming off that big win you know, this weekend. Uh, what can we look for as far as the home matchup with the Falcons on Wednesday night? I'm, I'm super excited. I think uh, the girls uh, are expecting to win. I'm expecting a good result. Uh, we think now that uh, now's the time for us to start making making a decent run and, and finishing the season out strong. Uh, D&E &E played Concord well. I think uh, those two teams matched up well. I think we're going to be a little bit quicker up top. Uh, and they're not going to be ready. I don't think they'll be adjusting for it. They played uh, Concord very defensively, and I think we'll come out normal against us, and I think we'll be able to surprise them a little bit. I think, you know, uh, of course, you played against the two, you know, league leaders this past week, had long stretches where you played them very tough, and then, of course, the, the seemed like the penalty kick in each instance ended up being a kind of a, a kick in the momentum. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and like most, most sporting events, Momentum was a big, big, big pusher, uh, and it was it was an unfortunate call. I think it was the right call. Uh, and we'll go back and look at the tape. I think it was the right call, and it just just we're having those little things that are that are hurting us right now. But uh, I think each game gets a little bit better, a little bit better. So I think we just have to stay optimistic, and, and good things are ahead of us. Thank you. We got a lot of young kids, you know, who are, who are playing, you know, getting extended minutes now, getting more college experience on this level. You talk about, you know, their development as the season is going along, about, you know, from where they were to now being, you know. Yeah, I, I, well, I think it's it, if anybody watches us play, I think we'll see that as well. Where we're definitely growing as a team, and they're growing as individuals, where they're a little more calmer on the field. Uh, you know, when the beginning of the season, they're getting knocked around a bit, a little nervous. Uh, but I said this the other day, the other night, after I lost a state to you out on, on the field as we're coming off the field, I think Glenville State women's soccer is playing the best soccer they've ever played. And I think we're doing it right now. I think it's our, our schedule. I match it with anybody in the conference. We have the toughest schedule the way that, I mean, we've played the number one team in the North. We played the number two team or the number one team in the South twice already. We played the number two team in the South twice already. Our, our schedule has been pretty, Pretty tough, but I like it. I like it. I think it, it, our girls are ready. We're ready to start playing the three and the four teams and, yeah. and see how we do. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, after Fairmont, and before we talk again next week, you'll have the, the Saturday trip over to d &E. So it's, you know, it's moved up a day. It'll be a Saturday afternoon trip, uh, Saturday afternoon game. Uh, d and &E, the school you formerly coached at, and we've already faced them once this year. And I know it didn't end well down the stretch, but for the you know the first sixty or seventy minutes, it was very tight. What are we looking for for the trip over to Elkins on Saturday? Well, first we're looking for a win, and uh, and I think the girls the, the the day that we lost that game, they wanted to play it right away again. So I think the girls are looking forward to it because we didn't put out our best foot in that game, and, and they realized it. Uh, we had a long talk after that game, and uh, and they did most of the talking, uh, and I think that was. I think that was a big growing up point for us this season was was that loss and so they're looking for redemption uh and i think it'll be a it'll definitely be a good game uh and i think d and &E, I mean they're they're sitting in second spot now yeah right no third they're in the third spot right now they just well went ahead of yeah. concord uh so they're a very good side uh and it's going to be it's going to be fun i, I think 
I think we'll give them a run for their money. If we can keep everybody healthy for 90 minutes and, and, and work, work the game plan well, I, I'm excited to see what happens. Well, Coach, tell you what, we'll be talking more, you know, again, we'll get a home match here Wednesday night, so you folks uh, catch that, you know, on, on uh, GSC Pioneers with, with Draven and his gang there on uh, Mountain East Television. Uh, hope we'll be able to give you some good reports for the golf tournament that night as that'll be the final round. But we'll get back with Coach Dotson next week. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, today. Coach Gals. Thank you all for joining us out there. We'll see you next week. <laughs>